What is up everyone? Jason here again with another introduction paintball marker. This is the Machine Vapor. So you can get these off of Machine Vapor's website. I think it's uh, machinepaintball.com. Just Google search it just in case. We'll also put a link in the video just to make it a little bit easier for everybody. So these are going for around 1200 right now. I know that's pretty steep. I understand that, but you do get a lot of cool things with this. You get a full, I think around a five-time rebuild kit, three barrel backs, a bottle opener, which is kind of cool. Then you get your own special machine vapor Allen key, the only ones you need to work on the whole marker. So very cool. But And you get a really cool push paintball gun bag. So let's just go ahead and get into the marker here, okay? So we're going to take out the marker. And we're going to take out the barrel too, just in case. And one other cool little perk thing that you get. Okay, so while the marker and the barrels are just chilling on the ground here, or the table, let's talk about this. So you do get a laminated O-ring chart for your regulator, which actually shows you how the regulator is supposed to go together, and the bolt assembly, how the actual bolt goes together with the O-ring. So that's a... Uh, Pretty, pretty cool if you ask me. Especially that's laminated, so you don't have to worry about getting wet and ruining it. So, a little 15 second, you know, 15 cent idea. Beautiful if you ask me. So, the barrel, of course, is auto cocker, like most paintball barrels on the marker nowadays. It does have a 8 inch control board. And it's just standard threaded, not reverse threaded at all. And there you go. If you haven't noticed, I got the lime green and the uh, the dust silver or dust pewter, depending on how you want to call the color scheme. So, cool. Okay, let's just dive on in. This is actually still a little junky from last time I played with it. So, here you go. Here is the Machine 2019 Vapor. Now, I've had the other Vapors before, and they, in layman's terms, were crap. Okay, I'm, I'm going to say crap. That's the only word I can say because I don't like cursing on this channel. This thing, the 2019, nothing like the old ones. The bolt has been redesigned. The board has been redesigned. Everything in here has been redesigned. So that's beautiful. Okay? Now, a couple things I want to go over internally. Okay? In the market now, all paintball markers are getting to the point two screws or one screw or in case of some other ones two clamps then the marker comes in two different pieces with a jumper board not cables this one still does have cables to it so you have a cable for the eyes or a wire you have it for the trick you have it for everything still okay so keep that in mind but really you shouldn't have to open this up the eyes are accessible they're actually really cool design Everything else really is your bolt. That's the only real thing you need to worry about, okay? So starting from the top, working down, it still does have the lowest feed neck I have ever seen in my life. When I had my Spire on here, I literally could get that. That, that, that was it, one finger. And I have skeleton fingers. I'm, I'm not going to lie. They're, they're lanky and they're tiny. I, I admit that. So, But one finger is all I could get, okay? The bolt... Like most of them, pull up. This thing is still pretty new, so <laughs> it's still working to get a little thinner. So in this case, we'll just do the old school method. There we go. Okay, so there's your entire bolt assembly. And we'll talk about this weird contraption in the front here in a minute. Okay, and if you notice, you have no eye covers in here. The eye, we're going to try to get the camera on this too, so I'll go ahead and just... Not move, we can zoom in. Down in the breech, the little rectangle you see, that is the eyes. It uses a cross beam. So what that means is you have the eyes go like this. If the eyes contact, that means there's no paintball. If the eyes stop and see a paintball, the eyes activate really cool little design so I think that's pretty awesome okay moving down the trigger only has two adjustments okay you have the magnetic and then you have 
the actual micro switch or the Allen key that activates the micro. That's it. Still love the trigger. Very curved, very smooth to pull too, by the way. I mean, there is like, you super nice and very, very, very minimal side to side play, which is good. Okay. Of course, the marker does have the OLED screen. I'll turn it on here. Okay, there we go. So as a course, of course, you can see eyes are on, 12.5 semi capped, etc., etc. All that good stuff, kids, go for. Okay. So the grips, the rubber grip in the front, and the grip on the actual frame, very smooth, very tight. So it's easier to hold. It's not going to slip around. As you can see. The ASA goes straight down with the grip. It doesn't have a protrude or anything. The only thing that pops up is right here. That is there just so that when you have the tank on, the gauge or the nipple feel is not digging into you. This right here, I know it spins. Everyone's like, oh my lord, that's such a bad design. Once it is pressurized, it stays there. And to depressurize it, you actually need to put some tension behind it, okay? We'll go ahead and turn this off. And we'll move this to the side. That's pretty much the body. Medium weight, not super light, not super heavy. But once everything is on, the hopper, the tank, the barrel, the marker, I, it sounds weird, but it becomes less weight. At most because everything else is counteracting the weight. So pretty cool. We'll set that right there. And then we're going to move on to the bolt. So if you had one of the original Vapors, this is a complete new design versus the old one. Okay. So this right here is kind of cool. Boop. It, this is your eye pipe. So they're actually, they're calling this the indestructible eye pipe is what they're nicknaming this. The ball detents are part of the pipe itself. And so far, no real complications with this. I'm impressed with that. And all it does literally is just snip into the front. That's it. It's, it's that easy. Boom, it's on. Boom, it's off. Now, when you do put the bolt back in, it does have a little notch right here in the front that you have to line up with a guide. So keep that in mind. Okay, so we'll go ahead and let's just take this apart real quick. And we're done. So literally, you have the bolt, which is one piece. You have the top cam or the top hat. I always say both terms that I grew up with. And then you have the back bolt and the bolt guide. The bolt guide can come out, but really it doesn't need to. You have the O-rings right here in plain sight, so you're good to go. So super easy to take apart, super easy to lube back up. And then we'll just put it right back together real quick. And we are done. So the best part about this bolt assembly this is the only thing that moves. That's it. The bolt guide is stationary. Nothing inside the top hat or the cam moves. The bolt is one single moving. So when we did play with this, it was very smooth. It was very easy to shoot. So we monkeyed with it a little bit. We're still going to do some tests to it, but I definitely at least wanted to introduce it to everybody to show like, hey, Machine Vapor is coming back. They're making another attempt to do this. Now it is different. Everything's been changed. If you ask me so far, I'm enjoying it. I had one issue, but it wasn't the machine vapor's fault. I had a swelled paintball. So it stopped shooting right when I ran up to bunker somebody. It was horrible, by the way. Very unhappy. But not the, not, not the vapor's fault at all. So we'll go ahead and put this right back in. And of course, like I said, you want to make sure that you line everything up. Perfect. And there you go, ladies and gentlemen. So this is the 2019 Machine Vapor Paintball Marker. Now, the one thing before we get two down, I want to stop talking about the marker for a minute, talk about customer service. I had some issues with this. It was just one of those one in a million kind of things. I contacted Machine. They worked with me. They kept in contact. If they didn't hear back from me, they called me personally. That tells you a lot, ladies and gentlemen. That's a good company. I had some issues. I went ahead and shipped it back to them. They went through everything. I got it back. I, it was like a whole new marker. 
I mean, no issues, no leaks, shot smooth. Everything was beautiful about this. So can't wait to give you some more, ladies and gentlemen. But until then, you're going to have to wait. So this is Jason with the 2019 Machine Vapor Paintball Marker. Thanks for watching. Subscribe, like, do all that good stuff, and I'll see you soon.